Don Mixon was an English footballer and football manager who played for Sheriff Wednesday and Bristol Rovers. He died in March 2023 at the age of 86. He was born on June 12, 1936 in Sale, Cheshire and joined Sheriff Wednesday from Mosley in 1952. He made his debut as a left back in 1959 and became the club captain. He led his team to second place in Division 1 in 1962-61 and to the FA World Cup final in 1966 where they lost to Everton. He made 442 appearances and scored 6 goals for Sheffield Wednesday before moving to Bristol Rovers in 1970 where he played for 2 more years. He then became a manager for Bristol Rovers from 1972 to 1977 winning the Watney Cup in his third game. He also coached Portland Timbers of North America and AFC Bournemouth briefly. His son Sons Gary and Need also became professional footballers and managers. Claude Fournier was a Canadian film director, screenwriter, editor and cinematographer who was one of the forerunners of cinema of Quebec. He died in March 2023 at the age of 91 after heart complications. He was born on July 23, 1931 in Waterloo, Quebec and started his acting career at Radio Canada and the National Film Broad of Canada. He made his first film feature film Duex Femmes N in 1970, a comedy about two suburban housewives who have affairs with various men. The film was a huge success and became one of the first examples of erotic cinema in Quebec. He also founded Elephant Memory of Quebec Cinema in 2008 with Raymond, a project that aimed to restore and preserve Quebec film heritage. They supervised the restoration of more than 200 films until their retirement in 2018. He was a prolific and influential filmmaker who contributed to Quebec's cultural identity. Jerome Frederick Green was an American sports writer and author who was known for his long career at the Detroit News and his coverage of the Super Bowl. He died on March 23 at the age of 94. He was famous for being the only sports writer to have covered each of the first 56 Super Bowls from 1967 to 2022. He also wrote several books on sports topics such as the history of the Detroit Lions, the Detroit Pistons and Michigan Wolverines football. He was married to Nancy who died in 2002 and had one child. We don't know the exact cause of his death but he had idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and other health problems before he passed away. Frank Lemaster was a former American football linebacker who played nine seasons in the NFL for Philadelphia Eagles. He was a part of 1980 NFC Championship team and a Pro Bowl selection in 1981. He was a part of the 1980 NFC Championship team and a Pro Bowl selection in 1981. He was born on March 12, 1952 in Lexington, Kentucky and died in March 2023 at the age of 71. According to Wikipedia, he played college football at the University of Kentucky and was drafted by the Eagles in the fourth round of 1974. For NFL draft. He was known for his durability and leadership on the field, starting 115 consecutive games for the Eagles and scoring three touchdowns in his career. He retired after being traded to the San Francisco 49ers in 1984. We could not find any information about his personal life or the cause of his death.